Let me start this off by asking a little question. You know when you're in a spot that's really high up, like the top of a skyscraper, and all of a sudden you have a voice in your head saying, hey, if you jumped, that'd be pretty based. Now see, that's called the call of the void, or I'm schizophrenic, the jury's still out on that one. Now see, you're meant to ignore it, but mark down today as the day I accepted it. This waifu tier list will bring war. There are so many characters in this game and some people are so touched deprived to where a character who appeared for like 3 seconds was enough to make them bricked up. So in other words, I'ma piss so many people off with this list because I am not going soft on these pricks. Mainly because for about 80% of the characters in the game, you sipping for them means you need to immediately see a therapist. With that being said, let's start the list. Although real quick, I'ma speedrun some of the less developed characters, cause if I didn't, this video would be like an hour long. Lenny, but she's homeless and probably smells like a mixture of a dumpster, a local wildfire, and some raw chicken, E tier. Naoki has some of the most confusing drip. She's halfway to looking like the damn ice climbers, yet for no reason has a fucking slave collar. Like, what were you cooking for your fit? A mistake? Though, you're not gonna lie, your masks, they're kind of hot. I'm not, COVID was a learning experience for me, so, you know, D tier. Mo is maybe a girl? It's, it's really hard to tell with these games. Regardless, Mo's body looks like it was comprised of recycled beer cans, F tier. Next is... A Airy? Motherfucker, who? Yeah, this bitch is Discount Chair on E tier. Yo, now we got Discount Chihei from Persona 4. Yo, damn, they really recreated the worst waifu from Persona 4. <laughs> That's crazy, D tier. Also, for this one, I'ma be a bit apologetic. You see, yeah, Dino Dave's a friend of mine and he fucking loves Pierre, but holy shit, I don't know what rose tinted glasses he sees her through. On God, motherfucker looking 35 at the age of 20. She's got a pure white aesthetic with her hair and drip, but to me that just makes her look like fucking white noise. Yeah, let's not even talk about the fucking crocodile teeth she has. Yeah, sorry to say, but she's E tier. Alright, so, yeah, not gonna lie, yeah, Julia's haircut reminds me of that one ice cream commercial where the motherfucker was eating his own cream. Yeah, I probably could have worded that better, D tier. Now we're finally getting to an alright waifu, Isadora, someone who looks, bare minimum, vaguely cute. The only problem is the fact that her forehead is capable of housing a nest. She deadass looked at Megamind and went, damn. Yo, oh, he's styling right now. Yeah, C tier. You know, right after the get with Olga, we could see her commit white collar crime to get fucking wasted the day before. I resonate with this because I downed a bottle of Smirnoff before writing, so she's B tier. Mika, on the other hand, looks like a honeypot scheme. F tier. Okay, so with Mika out of the way, the next character on the list is, uh. Oh. I. I'm a. I'm a assume. Beta is, uh. Somehow eligible to be a waifu. Now, the first thing we see is it eating a sweeper and making threat out of them. Yeah, no, 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 don't you dare say you want that to be you because I swear to God I will personally launch a crusade against your degeneracy. F tier. Next is Tamaki, the person who has a resting bitch face. And not much else unless you're looking to lose 14 years, if you catch my drift. F tier, and yes, I had to put my ass on a watch list for this bit. You're welcome. The Yo, least you could do is hit the like button. Uh, that shit made me physically repulse. When it comes to Yuna, she gives me background NPC vibes. Like, the blue hair is nice, but my lord, I find a Starbucks advertisement to be more visually interesting. D tier. Alright, uh, okay, okay, so hear me out on side, alright? Okay, okay, okay. She's definitely a raging prick, a gigantic asshole, but there are bigger reasons to like her than to hate her. Y y you feel me? Yeah, she's deadass radiating that Yelan energy. Y you catch my drift? Uh, C tier, C tier, C tier. Okay, so next is... I'm not fucking the 4K Ultra HD camera, F tier. Okay, so next is... I'm not fucking a psychotic furry, F tier. Now here we have... I don't think I need to say anything here, F tier. Moving on from that, there is... E tier, I have no regrets. When it comes to Valeri, if you simp for it, I will personally never get into a pool with you. Sweepers are literally just liquid people, so if that can get you off, I'm not sharing a fucking ocean with you, F tier. Now, saying this will definitely get me crucified, but Eugen radiates grandma energy. Yo, homies, I'm sorry to say, but motherfucker has be home by eight type beat whenever I see him, E tier. Tenma is really cute, but is also literally 4-7. Homie, if your wife whose head is a tripping hazard, then there's a problem, E tier. But, 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 if she was a foot taller, then probably A. 
Okay, okay, okay. So this one's a two-parter, right? Let's see, Rose, kind of mint, not gonna lie. But Leslie kind of got me looking like the rock right now. Rose D tier, Leslie B tier. You know, the fact that I like the tomboy more is not helping the fact that my audience thinks I'm currently having a, uh, a rave in the closet, so to say. Honestly, zero clue why y'all would think I'm gay. There is no reason to. Regardless, Dennis reminds me of Levi, he's going to C tier. Catriel, on the other hand, I legitimately wouldn't notice of Zahando from fucking Jojo erased her. Pretty forgettable, D tier. That aside, we're finally at a character who doesn't look like the spawned from Oswald's circus, a maid, who I'd put in B tier. Cecil, on the other hand, kinda looks like she could be Philip's sister, which the thought is enough to make me vomit, so yeah, she's holding down E tier. Meanwhile, Martina ain't cooking up much. A deadass coming in with a hairstyle modded after the bitch from the ring, E tier as well. And this should be obvious, but no, I'm not fucking the robot, F tier. Zhao though, and now we get to a character who I ain't gonna speedrun. Zhao is fucking raw. Most other people we invited talked a big game, but everyone knew they were gonna get waffle stomped. But Zhao came in, set the place on fire, and gave the coldest line in the entire series. She wanted to clap cheeks in the library, but her association forbade it, so she quit to go raise hell there. Motherfucker radiates absolute giga chad energy. Fuck our golly's little bitch ass reverberation, she's deserving of being a color. Let's also talk about the fact that she manifested full ego, which means she one-upped Philip, which only makes the positives grow. Though honestly, honestly, okay, she's B tier, because, okay, okay, hear me out, hear me. She gives me more mentor energy than waifu energy, you feel me? Like, if I had to learn under her, that shit would be amazing, but waifu, eh, not fully feeling it, you know? Also, this is gonna be an easy pick, Nikolai and F tier. I'm not sorry in the slightest, cause you see, unlike Nikolai Simps, I don't salivate at the idea of going to a retirement home. But what does have me salivating is Fortnite, specifically the Mio edition. Now listen, when I first heard of there being thousands of Mios, ya boy reached Nirvana. Granted, I came crashing back down upon hearing they were all brutally slaughtering and cannibalizing each other. But, the Dogens can forget about that part. She was one of the few guests I didn't want to destroy. Well, okay, maybe I should reword that. She was one of the few guests I didn't want to kill. Yeah, what can I say? She's got everything. The white hair and red eyes, the fact that she's a bunny girl, the yem, and the fact that she is high-key gay as hell. What's not to love? Like, okay, all I'm saying is I'm against domestic terrorism, but if Mio told me to do it in the name of grazing grass, then call me the Unabomber, S tier, not even close to A. Also, let's continue the trend of God tier characters, cause here we got Yan, a dead ass shooting for S in multiple categories. Voice, looks, and lack of being a pussy. Deadass went against the index because you're a bunch of crazy ass motherfuckers and even tried to stop people from joining it. Walked into the headquarters of the Thumb and called them fucking fools. And yes, before you say anything, I know he has a dick. That's the best part. The only flaw in him is that his legs look like they were taken from fucking Slenderman. I honestly got zero clue why they are bigger than Tenma. Regardless though, he's S tier. Now, yeah, okay, don't get it twisted. You see, okay, I ain't gay, but I would fuck him in the ass. Next up is Morai. Now, okay, listen, okay, okay. I know she kinda may sorta yeah, live in the sewers, but I mean, okay, okay, we can look past one's living conditions and view them as a human being, don't rewind back to the Lenny part. Now, I mean, when we view her as a human being, it, it honestly doesn't become much better. Uh, she kind of spends her entire life sending fucking vibration scribbles through tubes, and it may be responsible for a handful of mental breakdowns, but I mean, okay, yeah, I can't try to lie any longer, dog. She's fucked up beyond repair. Ain't nobody can fix her, but I don't care. The sewer hobo is hot, all right? I said it. A tier. Now, when it comes to Iori, listen to me fully before you crucify me. That could come afterwards. I'ma keep it 100, she's a badass but looks about 3 years off from dementia. Like in terms of badassery, she's A tier, but her looks are kinda the inverse of that. So if you like Iori, I can see that due to her chadness. But be prepared to buy a spot in her retirement home in the next 5 years. Yeah, don't worry, on your commute there you can chat with the Nikolai simps, E tier. Now, Yamirane is alright, but yeah, she kinda got that energy of the kid who'd remind the teacher that there's a test today, you feel me? Like, she comes into the library kinda like a prick going like, oh, you better start making backup plans. I feel like if she's your waifu, then you best be prepared to always be on edge. If you fuck up breakfast, you're about to have her chatting shit for like the next half hour. All in all, C tier. 
Now we get to the blue bitches band, and honestly, yeah, this is gonna be a speed run. Outright, I ain't fucking a clock person, I ain't fucking a dog, and I ain't fucking a shark. F tier for all. But Elena's a bit different. Now, I mean, she kinda got the pure, unfiltered bitch energy, but I can kinda fuck with it. I mean, she definitely looks more like a person than the other members. Kill it with fire, D tier. And for the final character before the thrice reincarnated toasters, we got Zena. Now I know she kinda came into the library racist as hell, uses the uh, M slur with much, much familiarity, but I mean, yo, look at that smile. No, okay, okay. I know I talk shit about Wita simps because her waifu was entirely unhinged, but I mean, I can kinda understand where they're coming from with Zena. Let's lay down some foundations, right? Is she an asshole? Definitely. Can you trust her? Hell no. Is she racist? She'd be proud to say yes. But goddamn if she don't look better than 80% of the characters in the game. I'ma say it and die on this hill. A tier. Oh, and Angelica is an A tier. That's the uh, non Lovecraftian version of Angelica. Now we move on to the last set, the Sephiroths. Now, Malkuth is one of the few wholesome characters in this depressing hellscape of a series. She is like a ray of happiness. A motherfucker is called Malkuth for a reason. She's in her third life and is looking forward to her dreams. And that word is rarer than diamonds in the city. And the best part is that when she was Elijah, she literally died because of how much of a failure she was. <laughs> Yo, she just like me. For real, for real. She deadass thought she was some hot shit, took some cogito, and in her dying moments had Ayn edge walk away from her. Bro, that shit be too relatable, B tier. Okay, now I know Hod may seem like the polar opposite of me, mainly because she's calm and collected, whilst for me, whenever I make a video it turns into the unhinged thoughts of a fucking madman. Oh, I suppose there's also the fact that she sounds like an angel whilst I sound like someone who downed a shot consisting of a fucking ashtray. Deadass, I never really jived with ASMR, but I would be willing to listen to Hod talking for an hour. No regrets. Now, I know she may have taken some drugs in the past, and you know, may be responsible for snitching to the head, causing immense death, uh, but I mean, when you listen to her voice, those intrusive thoughts of yours will just drift away. Uh, kinda like she did after sending in the ballistic missile of Benna to ask Blasine and his worshipper. Though I'd place her in A tier. Next we have... Uh... If you are a Tipperath simp, I will treat you like Don Simps and actively hunt you down to hand you into the FBI. F tier. Now when it comes to Gebra, y'all already know. She's a redhead, so that already puts her like 10 points above the rest. Uh, let's not even talk about the fact that she's easily the coolest motherfucker in the entire game, bar none. Now listen, I know some people may pipe up by saying, but homie, she's built like a steel girder on steroids, and to that I only have one word, sissy. If you don't simp for Gebra, that means you are not confident in your masculinity when it comes to her. And don't worry, I'm not either. I'd be dominated. Every night would be strap on Sundays. Of that, there is no doubt. Hell, I'd fucking buy it for her too. But honestly, it's a small price to pay for the experience of getting crushed between her thighs. End of the day, you aren't wearing the pants in the house. A pure skirt energy. Okay, 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 Grandpa. Let's uh, let's uh, let's get you back in your meds. And guess what? I don't give a fuck. I'd practice sucking dick daily. S tier. Now, okay, when it comes to Benna, let me shit talk some of the more unhinged members of the community. Because deadass, only I, the least unhinged library everyone a fan, can say this truth. Now, okay, she's hot. That much can't be argued. But holy shit, I would never want to talk to her. If you ask her, oh, should I turn on the AC? You are about to be locked in conversation about the woes and joys of modern life for the next eight hours. Like, boiling it down, she looks good, but holy shit, I don't want to have a review of the fucking Oxford Dictionary after a simple high. Oh, and uh, Black Tea is kind of mid as fuck. Uh, she's hopping in A tier. Now we have the last character in the game, Angela. Now let me come out like a school kid in America, guns a-blazing. Straight up, you have no taste if you hate Angela. And you know what? <laughs> I'm about to go full Twitter. There ain't no coming back from this. Angela had to experience time 100 times slower than normal. Had her creator hate her due to the most spiteful post-nut clarity. But hey, 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 at least she had Benjamin, right? Oh, fuck no, she didn't. She had to murder the only person who didn't treat her like shit thousands of times over. And keep in mind, she vividly remembers it over and over. Oh, 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 but at least she had the other Sephiroth. Oh, did you even play the game? She had to be a raging asshole to them despite her 
wanting to help them out fully. Her goal was to make them as sane as the average Limbus fan, despite her genuinely wanting to help them. And whenever she failed, guess what, guess what, rewind to the beginning and experience time 100 times slower. It was over a thousand loops until the player character could take the stage. And we all know how much Lobotomy Corporation beat our ass, so guess what, even more loops. She was made to view everyone around her as robots repeating the same shit over and over. And I mean, yeah, they kind of were robots, so yeah, that ain't too far off. She spent a million years doing the same shit over and over, and at the end was thrown away. And people really come and saying, Oh, is she actually such a child? Motherfucker, of course she does. I would too. I mean, shit, she spent her life trapped in the ugliest box buried thousands of feet in the ground. No wonder she has the emotional range of a child. And, you, you know, I, I just came to the realization that I spent the past minute simping for a character that I just said has the mental state of a child. And maybe I've been too harsh on Dawn fans. But for once, no cap. Angela is the greatest character that Project Moon has ever made. Roland gets close, but Angela's story is beautifully written, especially considering that even after the million years of hell, she was still able to give the Sephiroth life. For once, she was able to help them, like she desperately wished to do in the past. And near the end of the story, the Sephiroth actually come to understand her and accept her. I know I said I wouldn't fuck a robot, but shit, call me a hydraulic press cause I am smashing that metal. Angela is the best waifu in Library of Ruana. Her lashing out against the entire world wasn't justified, but damn was it understandable. I have zero problems with anything she did. She's the most beautiful and beautifully written character in Library of Ruana. Oh, but I almost forgot. You know, Carmen and Neftier, bitch is crazy. And that's it for the list. Little heads up, each character is ordered in their own tier from greatest to the left and descending to the right. Overall, I insulted many people's waifus and made an audio clip of me saying I'd fuck a guy in the ass. But I have zero regrets for anything said in this video, cause end of the day, I downed 2 liters of Smirnoff before writing this script, so diminished capacity is always a defense at hand. Welcome and well met, my brave.